Hey guys, I'm Diane, and in this video, I am going to show you how to create digital tie-dye patterns in Photoshop. So this is the pattern that we are actually going to create. So for this tutorial, we're actually gonna use my Photoshop brushes that I sell on Creative Market. They're a set of 20 digital tie-dye spirals, and you can see here, these are all the shapes that are included. We've got a ton of really cool spirals, just a few different variations, some hooks down here, and the second page, we have quite a few different things that we can mix and match in the pattern that we wanna create. So I'll include a link below this video, and you can go ahead and check out some of the brush sets that I offer on Creative Market. When I first start out in Photoshop, I typically choose a hook and sort of place it in the middle. In this case, I've already chosen to put it off center. And you wanna do it that way because if you put it like right directly in the center, it's just, there's like really no interest. So I think that when you have something off center, it's a lot more visually appealing. If you decide to buy these Photoshop brushes after you've installed them in Photoshop, you'll see that the brushes come in a variety of different shapes. So like for this one, I'm just pressing B on my keyboard. You'll see that there are different kinds of hooks. And then this one I called a diagonal teeth. So after I've created a new layer, I can just go ahead and click paint the brush in and you'll see that it's kind of has like this variation in the shape. So you can press command T to kind of flip it around. So if you wanted something like right here, you can do that. So they're kind of fun. And then if you wanted to enlarge the shape, you can totally do that and just kind of fix it around. So it's kind of how I start out with, but I already had a pattern built out. And so typically what I like to do is I'll just go through these layers that I've created. Sometimes I duplicate the layer and I apply a layer blend mode in this case color burn and you'll see why I did that so that when other shapes and colors actually go on top or below each other they'll create like a really cool effect so and I've done that with most of these like I'll repeat them and that one is this bottom half teeth here so this is really cool because you can paint it on separate layers and I suggest painting it on separate layers so that you can move things around, you can transform it, you can press command T and then you can just enlarge it. So whatever you want to do. So that's why I suggest doing everything in separate layers so that you don't you also don't get confused. So if you wanted to move something around, you can do that. I'm just going to go back to turning on these two layers. I've also added yellow on the inside. Here, I've actually duplicated this layer and this is the yellow one that I this so this is the same shape as the red one, but what I did was I just decreased the size and added into the middle. So whatever layers on top, that's gonna overlap the bottom layers. Then I've duplicated that. So it's the same yellow color, but this time I put a blend mode that's a color burn. It's really cool because it creates this effect. So if I moved it this way, so this is yellow put on top of this red, it creates like this dramatic red color. That's like some of the secrets that I have when I'm creating these tie-dye patterns in Photoshop. Um, yeah, so that's another way to do it. I like using the color burn blend mode. So here I'll just, I'll just go through some of these layers. Here's a yellow one. And then I added some blues. And then the purple ones, this shape here. So see how big that is? It's not normally that big, but um, I did it that way but I can show you which shape that is. This is actually the, let's see here. So this shape here is actually the small teeth. So you'll see if I painted it, that's what it looks like. I actually created this from like watercolor brushes to 
kind of give it that jaggedy edge kind of feel. So there's like a lot of different variations. There's also this like smaller half looking teeth. Have fun with it. Going through this again, so I added all the purples and then I would transform it and move the shape around, either enlarge it and then as I add it onto the bottom. So this one is normal blend mode layer. And so this is actually a hook right here that I used. And then I used a lot of the same elements, repeating them and then just making them go across. And then I added white. This one is actually this brush right here. One of these brushes, the spider brushes. So that's really cool to add to the top to break up the space and the colors a little bit. Added the sun spider blue. And then I did two layers on top of that. And let's see, top layer I actually put to multiply so that it can look a little bit darker. So left some white space around canvas. Um, it just looks nicer when the color doesn't look like it's just, I mean, like this one. This is a very visual busy pattern because it's tie-dye but you also want to make sure that there's little specks of white in there you can kind of break up the eye when you're looking at something like this also if you are interested in trying out these brushes I sell them on creative market the set of 20 spiral brushes you also get some bonus stuff so this actual template comes with the spiral brush set as a PSD file so that you can practice and also a good way to change the colors like so this yellow here if you don't want it to be a yellow you could just double click and add a color here to give it your own creative flair if you have any questions please feel free to reach out otherwise I'll be putting the link to my creative market shop on the bottom of this video